All right, guys, this is it. This is our first try at this uh, video coaching. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little workout here uh, designed by John Whiteley himself, the Imam and the Core Crusher. Uh, these two workouts are going to make you guys sweat at home. It's gonna be pretty intense if you guys do it uh, like this. Um, starting off with the warm up first, for eight minutes, I want you to set a clock or a timer for eight minutes. Uh, you are gonna do a 50 meter jog if you have access to outdoors, or you are going to just do a 15 second in place jog, okay? From there, when you come back from that 50 meters or 15 seconds is up, you're gonna do just air squats. Nice air squat, maybe extend your arms for counter balance, okay? Driving hips through on the way up. As you sink through, just listen to your body and let yourself sink deeper Okay, this is your warm up. I want you to go at your own pace. So just take your time on this. Again, whenever we're squatting, we wanna make sure that we are pulling our knees outward with our glutes, okay? Activating our glutes to sink down, keeping your chest elevated, hands out to help you uh, balance, fire back up. Five air squats. Then five RDL or Romanian deadlifts. What I'm looking for here, okay? You are going to lean over to one side, balance on that foot, Okay, you're gonna break at the knee slightly, and you're gonna send your hip back at a hinge, trying to keep the glute activated. So my weight may shift slightly back to my heel as I hinge. Okay, I wanna keep my spine organized. Okay, as I'm hinging here, my arms can hang loose or I can keep my hands at my hips. Okay, then I'm gonna drive back up. Looking at it, front view, this knee, I want you guys to think about pulling it out still with the mindset of keeping your glute activated. Okay, you're gonna hinge at the waist, trying to keep your spine organized and pulling that knee outward, glute activation. Slight shift back into your heel to help with your glute activation. Okay, you're gonna do that five times on each side. Then three push-ups. Okay, just remember on the push-ups, you guys need to go all the way down to the ground and all the way back up, no exceptions. We're looking at lowering chest to the ground, Firing all the way back up. Take your time on this. Okay, if you need to, drop to your knees for the push-up. But I'm always looking for full range of motion. Remember this. Head down, elbows out. Okay, also, no short tricep push-ups. I want a full range of motion. Okay, guys, I want you all to do, uh, set your timer for eight minutes. Hit pause, complete that section, and then we'll move on to the EMOM. Okay, the EMOM, for 12 minutes, every minute on the minute, okay, you are going to complete those four exercises, okay? You have five atomic thrusters, you have four sprawls, you have three reverse lunges on the left and right, and then you have two burpees. Then you're gonna rest the rest of the minute. Whenever that next minute hits, on that minute, you're gonna start again. Five atomic thrusters, four sprawls, three reverse lunges, and two burpees. Rest the remainder of the minute. This is 12 rounds, okay? So get ready for a, a blast, okay? You're gonna just have so much fun with this one. Okay, atomic thrusters first. We're gonna get in that plank position, pushing away from the ground, staying super active with your shoulders. Lift your knees up slightly. You're gonna drive your feet back and then pull them in, keeping your butt down. Don't let the hips hike up, keep that butt down and your eye is slightly looking forward and about a foot or two in front of your hands. Kick back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then you're gonna move into the sprawls. So starting from the standing position, you're going to break the knees, hinge at the waist, and then whenever you can, you're gonna leave your feet, move to your hands and go to plank position. Then you're gonna pull your feet back up and stand tall all the way. If you need to, modify. Okay, you can do something like so. Step back, step back, and then back up. Okay, four times, four sprawls. Reverse lunges. You're gonna do three on your left, and then three on your right. Okay, the thing on the lunges that I'm looking for, same thing, the knee needs to protrude outward. Get the glute activated, make sure your glute's doing the work. 
Okay, then the burpees. Kind of like the sprawl, break the knees, hits the waist, start your fall, down to the ground, full range of motion like the push up, fire back up, stand and jump. Okay, all right, go ahead and hit pause, set your timer for 12 minutes, and let's get rolling. Okay, now moving on to the core crusher. We have hollow body crunches. What I'm looking for here, laying down flat on the ground. From here, arms straight out. You're gonna go from this neutral spine position, suck your belly button in, okay, keep that activated. And from here, I'm just gonna squeeze and raise, and then back down into that neutral position, okay? That's all it is. Okay, now, if you want a little advanced version, you can hold that hollow body hold. You're gonna crunch. Okay, you can add that to your regimen. From here, you have seated knee tucks. Pulling those knees in. Notice my hands are spread wide so I can get some depth here, dropping my back down and then crunch my knees into my chest. Take a deep breath in, exhale whenever you pull your knees in. From here, you have Superman. On the Superman, I'm going to not quite touch the ground, I'm just gonna float just above the ground, and from here, with my eyes facing downward, I'm gonna raise my body up, trying to make as little contact on the ground as possible. Squeezing at the glute, the core, and the lower back to make that raise up in there. Then you have side planks. From here, hand can be on your hip, it can be up tall, or if you need extra support, it can be here on your wrist. You're gonna drop your hips down, then raise them up. Okay? Just like so. If you wanna add a little extra here, you can take that elbow and you can kind of touch behind your opposite elbow. Okay, that's a little intense modification. And then alternating toe touches. This one, like a V up, where we're gonna go one leg at a time, okay? Come all the way back down, rise up. And so how this core crusher works with the one to 10, is you're gonna do one rep of hollow body crunch one rep of seated knee tucks, one superman, one side plank raise on the left and right, and one alternating toe touch on the left and right, and you're gonna repeat the whole thing. Two hollow body crunch, two seated knee tucks, two supermans, two side plank raise, two alternating toe touches, then three, 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 three. Now, here's the trick. There's a 50 meter jog or a 15 second in place jog after each round. So after you complete the first round of one rep of all those, do that 15 second jog or 50 meter jog, and you come back to two reps of everything. From here, go ahead and push pause, get that started. All right, guys, good job, good workout today. We're gonna uh, just bring it all together. We're gonna stretch out and get ready for uh, the, the next day, okay? I want you guys to make sure that you all do this, spend the time recovering from this workout. If you do the mobility and the stretching that you need before and after these workouts, you guys should see good recovery um, after each one. Now, the windmill, what I wanna see here, square stance to start off with, you're gonna open up one toe, Okay, and that opposite arm goes straight up into the sky. What I want you to do now is break at that, that open toe knee, and you're gonna push your opposite hip back into that glute activated position, and we're gonna start to lower our body, almost like we're lowering between two planes of glass. Now notice I want you guys to keep your spine in an organized position. 
okay? Don't round at your spine to get depth. Just go to your limit, okay? If you're super mobile or you're super warmed up, which you should be, you should be able to get more depth in this than I am right now, okay? You're gonna do that three times, maybe pausing at that down position for a couple breaths. Deep breath in, exhale, and maybe sink a little bit farther. Okay, you should feel a good stretch in that glute and a good stretch in that hamstring on the opposite leg. From here, chest opener. You can do that against the wall or on the ground. What I'm looking for on the chest opener is not a straight arm, but a bent elbow. That elbow should be about the same height as your shoulders. From here, my palm is flat against the wall or the ground, and my shoulder moves against the wall. Okay, from here, I can take this opposite arm and it can start to turn away from that shoulder and start to pull away from it, not letting that shoulder leave the wall or the ground. And I want you to take five deep breaths here, five to 10. And that should put you at 30 seconds. Okay, same thing on the other side. Drive that shoulder to the wall, turn and open up away from it, and take deep breaths as you pull away from that, away from that elbow. Okay, then you have child's pose. Get into that shoulders, that mid and upper back thoracic area. On this, my knees need to go fairly wide. Okay, point your toes behind you and touch them together. From here, we're going to sink down into our heels, walk our hands out. Notice that my, the ninth edge of my palms are flat on the ground, thumbs are up, and my elbows are floating off the ground as I sink deeply into this. I'm taking about 10 deep breaths. And I'm trying to relax and take my time getting into that position. Do that about two rounds, and you guys should be good to go for this first session. Uh, there's more to come. You have Chad, uh, John Gates, Wiley, Mitchell, and uh, Beth, potentially Keith, gonna give you guys some workouts. Um, guys, keep in mind that we are gonna be offering some the, our regular fusion classes online. We're gonna be sending those out to uh, the programming. There's a link that we sent you guys via email. There's also one in the social media um, that you can click on and see all of our programming access for you. Uh, please follow it um, and ask us any questions you have. We're trying to do this as interactive as possible. Um, we're also going to do some kind of like live streaming video workout for you guys uh, in the coming days. So uh, yeah, it's our first try. Oh, by the way, hey guys, what did the pirate say? when he turned 80 years old. Hi, I'm 80. Let me cut that one out. I'm 80.